Hi, this is Robert. I want to talk to you for a couple of minutes about keeping the engine of your car in good health. Uh, this is very simple. The best way to keep your engine in good health and to help your engine last a long time is keep the oil level checked on a daily or weekly basis. I would say weekly basis and keep fresh oil in the car. Now, one of the worst things about a car engine is to run dirty oil in it all the time or let the oil get low. Now, most cars, your average car, I would say, they take four quarts of oil to lubricate the engine system. Mine takes six quarts. Now, I have a turbocharged car and they use some of that oil to help lubricate the turbocharger. So maybe that's why they use a little more, I don't know. Anyway, every owner's manual recommends you change the oil every 3,000 miles, 5,000 miles, 7,000 miles, 10,000 miles, depending on how well your car motor was engineered and depending on the type of driving that you do in the climate that you live in. Now also what would dictate something about the climate is the weight of oil. My philosophy is, my knowledge is, my experience is, the oils that are manufactured and produced today are 10 times better than the motor oils that were used 20, 30 years ago. So the things that Grandpa did 20 years ago or Dad did 20 years ago to his motor oil change intervals may not apply today. Uh, if you talk to people my age and older, most of them will tell you, replace that oil every 3,000 miles. However, when you look in the owner's manual, the owner's manual will say, if you drive normal, replace it every 5,000 miles. And if you drive a lot of highway drive where you're temperature is constant and your speed is constant, you could change it every 10,000 miles. That's true. Now, one thing I will caution on that thing is, your car has a warranty that lasts 5 years, 5,000 miles, 6 years, 60,000 miles, 7 years, 70,000 miles. The thing about these people to tell you how often to change your oil is, when you're outside of that warranty and that motor's worn out, and it don't work no more, they're not going to pay to have the motor done. That'll be your expense. So if you want to err on the way of caution, go right ahead. Change your oil every 3,000 miles. Change your oil every 5,000 miles instead of 10. But I want to encourage you to stay within their recommendations. Now, I change mine every 5,000 miles. They recommend in the manual every 5,000 miles. Now, what they don't recommend is using what I consider a higher quality oil, and it is called synthetic oil. Now, synthetic oil is usually 30 to 50% more expensive, but they say if you use synthetic oil, you can let it go twice as long. Now, I don't let it go twice as long but I use it and change it on the schedule intervals and I believe there's a good chance that my motor may never wear out because I'm using synthetic oil. I recently did a compression test on my motor that really measures the wear of the pistons which is a big thing, the wear of your crank bearings and the wear of your pistons in the car. Now the allowable limits of the pressure that my motor should build is between 156 and 185. The pressure in my motor was 175 or better in each cylinder and I have over 200,000 miles on my car. So I'm very thankful that whoever owned the car before me evidently did regular oil changes. I know it was an older guy. He was 20 years older than me. He probably changed the oil every 3,000 when the manual requires every 5,000. Thank you for that, sir. Now, I'm going to do it with synthetic oil every 5,000 miles or sooner, and I expect my motor to last many years. Now, I've talked about changing it. 
The other thing is about keeping the level correct. When you crank your car up in the morning, if you have low oil level, oil doesn't reach to the top of the engine the way it should. When you're driving down the freeway, the amount of oil that's supposed to reach to the top of the engine doesn't get there. So, my goodness, check your oil weekly. If you ever see it, a half a quart low, a quart low, top it off. Never let it get a quart low if you can help it. Always top it off from a half a quart stance because if your motor oil is full, it's getting enough. Now, don't overfill it. Overfilling your oil could cause too much pressure to build up in the system and damage seals. You want to keep the right amount. You want to keep it between the halfway mark and the full mark. Now, I don't have an oil uh, dipstick with me here, but if you pull the motor dipstick out, it's usually red. Some of them are orange. They normally say engine oil on them. You pull them out with the car not running. You wipe them off. Normally, I like to let the car sit five minutes or more before I check the oil. You slide this dipstick back in. You pull it out. You look at the minimum mark and the maximum mark. You want it halfway between the minimum and maximum or up to the maximum. Try to keep it topped off. If you run it low, you can uh, cause your motor to wear faster and destroy the motor in a shorter amount of time. That's about all I'm going to say about engine oil right now. Another thing that you can do to keep your oil, your, your engine running well and clean is clean the top part of the motor that has little oil up there and these are called the valves. The valves are normally very close to the fuel injectors and your fuel injectors sometimes they over over the eight years and over time over the miles they get clogged a little and your valves will get a little dirty have some carbon build up on them and stuff like that you need those valves to be clean and sit well what I have in my hand is called a Lucas upper cylinder lubricant and injector cleaner you pour this stuff in your fuel tank and it will they say I've read the website they say it will help lubricate your fuel pump and when it gets to your motor it'll clean the fuel injectors so the injectors spray a nice better pattern then the cleaner additives in this Lucas it's like oily substance will also clean your valves in the top part of your engine to help those seat good and help the uh, little seals on those valve stems uh, seat good and clean as well. So this is excellent stuff for your gas tank additive. I normally do this to my fuel tank every time I change the oil. They recommend that you do this um, every uh, other tank full or something like that I think that's too often I would say do it quarterly do it every time you get the oil chains or do it every 5,000 miles that should be plenty enough usage of this stuff to keep your fuel injectors clean and to keep your cylinders uh, your valves and stuff in the top part of your motor clean and keep your fuel pump lubricated I mean they said it helps lubricate your fuel pump now, there are other companies that make stuff like this. Fuel injector cleaner is, is a plus. Use some good stuff. Help keep your fuel injectors clean. Now, I also uh, used this stuff one time to help open a couple of fuel injectors. I purchased a car for a very reasonable price one time, and it was missing. And it was missing because the car had sat about a year and a half without somebody driving it, and the fuel injectors were clogged and sticking. So they weren't spraying the fuel the way they needed to to keep the motor running smooth. I ran a bottle of this in the tank. By the time that tank was three was was a quarter of the way gone, that engine was purring like a kid. So if you ever have any fuel injectors uh, sticking or the car not running good, just put one bottle of this. If you put a bottle of this in there and it don't work by the time it's half a tank, you likely have another problem. So, don't buy six bottles of this and keep dumping it in there every tank full. Just one shot of this stuff should work on fuel injectors that are mildly clogged or 
uh, something else in the fuel system that may not be right where this will help. Okay, well, there you have it. To keep your engine running clean, keep uh, good fresh oil in it, and keep uh, using fuel injector cleaner every 5,000 miles or however often you do your oil changes, and you should have a, a motor that purrs like a kitten. And by the way, my car has over 200,000 miles on it, and I promise you, it purrs like a kitten. Good luck with keeping your car running good.